Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the fourth Word 2007 tutorial and today's topic is going to be formatting. I'm going to jump right in and start with the autocorrect feature. Um, the autocorrect feature is when you're typing something and it comes up and it automatically corrects it for you. So there's loads of default options in here. So the way to get in there is um, you can go up here to the, micro the office button, right click it, and choose the option with the left mouse click customize quick access toolbar and when you get there you can go under proofing and you'll notice over here you've got autocorrect options you click that that'll come up and you'll notice down here I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll down here for example if you type a l o m s t it automatically corrects that to almost or a lot to a space lot so what you can do here, and these are where you know you have the smiley faces with the short, uh, you know, with the um, different uh, sequence to get those to go in. So if you want to create a new um, autocorrect feature, I'll do something real simple here. I'm going to go ahead and do three asterisk symbols, and then in the box here I'm going to type this is a test. And I'm going to say add. Now to save that I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to click OK here. Now I'm going to go down in my document and I'm going to type three asterisk symbols and you see what happens it automatically places that in there so you can kind of use it like a even like a macro type feature alright so if I want to edit that or delete it I'm going to go back in customize my toolbar go proofing autocorrect highlight that row and click delete okay now it's gone okay um, there is also um, math autocorrect options in here um, and a variety of formatting options so something to play with real easy um, handy feature there anyways um, another quick thing I want to show you is custom dictionary so if you go to um, custom dictionary here if you want to add a word in there um, or edit something in there um, that uh, you can do that in here so that's when you know when you do spell check and so forth so that's where you would go to do that and then you save any changes. So I'm going to go ahead and just cancel out of that. So another quick thing I want to show you is the styles formatting. So I've got several, what I did here is I just copied a paragraph twice. Okay, so I'm going to highlight, my, put my cursor right in front of this first paragraph. And if I want to change the style of it, I can go to these default styles in here. You'll notice it's changing as I highlight them. So I'm going to highlight that one, and you see it changed it and you'll also notice it just changed that entire paragraph. I would have to highlight both of these paragraphs to change both of them. This is going to go paragraph by paragraph if you choose, you know, if you put your cursor um, before this one, okay? Um, so another thing I want to show you is um, when you go here, you can also go here to do the pull down and you have many more options here. And you can create your own styles here also. But that's how that works. I wanted to show you that. The next thing I wanted to share with you is you can create new theme fonts. So if you go under change styles and go to fonts, I'm going to have to change the size of my screen here for a second. Go change styles, fonts, and then you see you get loads of options here. There's uh, currency, you know, this one, you know, there's default font sets between the title and the regular text. So there's lots of options here that you can change your change your style change your fonts so you can go in there and play with it so one thing I wanted to share with you is let me make sure this is on the screen if I want to create a new theme font I go here uh, this might have scrolled off your screen at the bottom of this pop-up box you'll have a create new theme fonts and then if you want to go in here you can create a new set of, uh, of fonts here so that if you want to do something custom so I'm going to go over here and then you know you see that's the heading and then the body would be I'll just make something up just to share with you right and then I can go over here and call this test 2 then I'd say save and now if I go under styles and I want to set my font setting you'll notice I have test 2 and that's my setup okay um, there's also lots of options here for colors of um, fonts and you can go down here and choose you know new theme colors lots of different options to play with there so another thing I want to show you let me expand this out a little bit again 
is under the page layout um, a couple things uh, that you can do here is you can set um, watermarks as an option so if I go here to watermarks you see there's default ones here and uh, for example confidential and you would put that on there and you'll notice here it's um, actually this document is not a good example let me set up a new document so you get new blank document and set up a let me do that watermark confidential and you'll see it's across the across the page like that now if I type on there you know it, it'll stay on the document okay so the next thing is is so let me get rid of that let me get rid of a bunch of these things next thing you can do is you can set up a um, page let's see let's do the backgrounds here so I can go here and I can go to under page color I can change the whole page color to whatever I want to here um, but the other thing I can do is do fill effects and I can set the texture for either these default textures so if you were creating a newsletter you might use something in, like this or you can create it from a picture you can go in here select picture and, and choose a background from your uh, you know something you've saved on your on your computer you can do a pattern uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just set a simple background like this and say OK. And then, you know, that way it gives it a nice, um, nice look to the document. So that's really all I wanted to share with you today is those um, items. And I uh, hope you uh, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to come out with uh, within the next couple of days a couple more Word tutorials. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Take care.